There is a revolution that is happening right now, and it is about how we work and interact and speak with AI. A lot of people are trapped in this mindset of the single threaded conversation, the chatbot, the microtasker, where you go into ChatGPT or Claude or Gemini Perplexity or whatever. You ask one question, you get an answer. You ask for feedback, you get an answer. You get an edit in, five edits in, you get an answer. You ask for an image, you get an answer, etc. And it's this single threaded, cut and dry, down and back, one, one, one query where it's boring. I, like, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. It's helpful, but my God, it's boring. And what I'm hoping is that people realize that 2024 was the year of multimodal AI and that that trend is really continuing into 2025. So I want to talk about this new interaction mode that's really been around for a couple months. I want to kind of lay out what we're seeing here, and then I'm going to jump into hopefully an easy to show demo. But who knows? Things can always break, and I like recording these videos in one go and seeing how it goes. So <clears throat> here we go. Interaction modes. There are four that I've laid out. The first is that AI is a microtasker. The second, which is what I want to show here, is AI as a copilot. That is not Microsoft Copilot, not GitHub Copilot. It is something way more interactive and ambient and live. And it's actually very helpful to show the three different modes that Gemini has. There are a lot of other providers, but Gemini is actually one of the better ones. So here we go. I am in aistudio.google.com. If you want to skip ahead to the demos, I'll probably go into this for like a minute or two, and then I'll show demos after. Feel free to skip ahead. aistudio.google.com. It is the more dev environment to test out Gemini. You can test out brand new models over here. You can change the temperature, which you can't do in the consumer facing Gemini version. You can spin up a lot of like prompt gallery type things. It's like, it's fun. What I tend to use it for is model testing, especially this compare feature where you're going model against model and you wanna compare output and also showing this stream real time option. So if you go to aistudio.google.com, it'll ask you to log in. You're gonna log in. On the left hand side, you're gonna switch it to stream real time. You are then going to be presented with three different options. The first is talk to Gemini, which is kind of like being on a phone call with Gemini. It's audio only, it is voice, it's chatting back and forth. It's like the original advanced voice mode from ChatGPT. Second is show Gemini, that is a video feed. So you can imagine if I'm showing it my video of a hotel conference room that you can ask it questions about this curtain or you can ask it questions about this shirt or hair or whatever. Uh, and then the third one, which is what I want to show in this demo, is share your screen. That is basically like being in a Zoom with an AI system, where the AI can see your screen, can weigh in, and, and it can only see what you share. You can share a single window, you can share your entire screen. In this case, I'm going to throw caution to the wind and share my entire screen. Gemini has a 10-minute real-time stream limit. And so maybe that'll be increased as cost drops, as performance increases, as context length increases. But for now, 10 minutes, let's see what we can do. So I'm going to hit share screen. Just note that you might have settings that you have to set up in system preferences on your computer. Uh, Chrome tends to work better for Firefox or pretty much any Google thing, but especially for this. So if you're in Firefox or Safari or something, switch into Chrome. And let's see. Cool. Gemini, can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. I see that you have Google AI Studio open. Do you want to talk more about it? Uh, no, that's just how I talk to you. Um, I want to go into Cove and I want to build a new app or something. I was thinking it's fantasy football related. What do you think? Okay, so you want to go into Cove and build a new app and you're thinking of something fantasy football related. Is that correct? Yep. What do you think? Can you tell me what your thoughts are on that? So you want my thoughts on building a fantasy football app in Cove. Is that correct? Yeah, but more specifically, just give me one creative idea that can make this, this app idea even better than just related to fantasy football. Okay, so you're looking for one creative idea that could make a fantasy football app even better. Is that correct? Yep, just give me the idea. Okay, how about adding a feature that allows users to create custom challenges or achievements within their fantasy football leagues? Sure, I like it. 
I'm just going to see what Cove comes up with. Some combination of Cove's creativity and yours, I think we're going to get to a good space. So while that is thinking, um, I also was thinking about shopping for like a nostalgic toy or gadget, maybe something from like the 80s or 90s. Do you have a couple ideas, preferably like under 50 bucks? Okay, you want ideas for nostalgic toys or gadgets from the 80s or 90s that cost less than $50? Is that correct? Yep, just give me two or three ideas. You don't have to repeat what I say, just give me the idea. Okay, how about a Rubik's Cube, a Tamagotchi, or a Skip It? I think I broke my shin with Skip It, so let's go for a Tamagotchi. Uh, any specific color that I should go for? It looks like you have a few options. There's the original Sprinkles, Connection Sweet Charms, Nano X Hello Kitty, Original Garden Poppies, or the Uni Pink. Which one are you This one's The 90s is really good. Galaxy is really good. That neon one. I'm going to go Galaxy. All right, so I think the app still getting done. Uh, maybe we should read the reviews for the Tamagotchi? What do the reviews say? The reviews are generally positive with an average of four. Six out of five stars. Most people rate it as five stars, highlighting the toy's design, fun, nostalgia, and functionality. However, some reviews do note that the quality can be mixed. I wouldn't say the quality was great when I was a kid, but 4.6 sounds pretty good. The app is still getting done. What were your other ideas other than Tamagotchi? Other than the Tamagotchi, you were also considering a Rubik's Cube and a Skip It. Now the Skip It caused me injury and Rubik's Cube I've never been able to solve. Give me one more idea. How about a Viewmaster? Ooh, that is a great idea. Uh, great. Let's do this one. What do you think? I think that the Viewmaster is a great choice for a nostalgic toy that fits your budget. It yeah. is definitely... I agree. Oh, man. Takes me back. I can hear the click. Can't you hear the click? Let's go back to this challenge name. How about challenge name is Lightning Bolt. So you want the challenge name to be Lightning Bolt. Sure. Is there anything else you want to do with your fantasy football challenge? I think, let me see. I like okay. team-based scoring system. Uh, this sounds great. I don't think I'm, I'm not an expert in this space, but that's pretty cool that it made this whole thing. Theme, theme descriptions. Uh, rookie only is kind of fun. Okay, you like challenge. Okay, you want a single team challenge. Is there anything else you want to do with the fantasy football challenge you're creating? Make it more official. Okay, we'll you want to Okay. I'll have to do some coding. I think I really like that Viewmaster. Maybe we can also add, what's something like a Viewmaster that I can add on? You're thinking of adding a Viewmaster or something similar to your fantasy football challenge? Is that no, right? No, not related to the fantasy football. Just like a totally separate thing to buy that is not the Viewmaster, but something kind of similar. Do you have any other ideas? So you want to buy something like a Viewmaster, but not directly related to fantasy football, and you were thinking about a marble run? Do you want to explore more ideas like this? Yeah, just give me three ideas. Okay, you'd like three days to think about it. Is there no, anything else? Give me three ideas. You want me to give you three ideas similar to the Viewmaster and the Marble Run, but not related to fantasy football. Is that correct? Correct. How about a wooden puzzle box, a kaleidoscope, or a small science kit? I love the idea of a kaleidoscope. That's a great one. Thank you for your help. I appreciate it. Was that perfect? Absolutely not. But you can imagine that this is going to be bigger than it currently is. It took a while to respond to me. Uh, I'm sure I mumbled, but it did have a, a hard time understanding that last question. It often repeated what I was asking back to me. I couldn't customize how fast it was speaking or the tone. Um, so there's a lot to fix. But what I'm hoping that people realize is that this has been available for a couple months. I have not talked to that many people that have tested it. At the very least, to kind of see how it feels, to feel that interaction mode, even if it's not perfect. So I would suggest that if you are watching this, try out this new interaction mode, try it inside of ChatGPT, try it inside of Gemini, and, and feel, 
feel the vibes, feel that flow, feel that interaction in what can happen when you kind of open up AI as not just a microtasker, but as an ambient AI, a co-pilot that is with you for a long period of time. I can imagine that people are gonna have this for hours at their workplace or days at their workplace. I mean, AI PC companies are already having to think through this, but I really do think that there is a revolution that we're going through right now on interaction modes with AI and so many people are stuck on mode one. Give it a go. Let me know what you think in the comment. comments, comments, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Great ending.